Hi, I am Will Toledo from Carcia Headdress. I'm at Amoeba, and this is What's in My Bag. This is the first that caught my eye. In the veneer of all men Stands a solitary candle ah, 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 ah. Have you heard it yet? Oh yeah, I've listened to it lots of times, but I want a copy of my own. It's uh, one of my favorites for 2015. Unfortunately, The Life of Pablo is not out on uh, any physical media, and Kanye says it never will be. So instead, I picked up the 33 and a third of my beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. Find, yeah, I always find, yeah, I always find something wrong. You've been putting up with my shit just way too long. I'm looking forward to the day when there is a comprehensive biography about Kanye. It might not happen for a long time, but uh, what about I'm sure a it will be a good one. Autobiography. That would be a little unreliable, I think. <laughs> um, I would. Try, I want a third-person perspective on that one. <laughs> My 12-year-old self kind of took over, and I ended up just getting a bunch of colorful, bright albums. I got the new Weezer album. I didn't know it was out yet. I like uh, the early stuff, as most people do, but I actually like the songs I've heard on this. I think that L.A. Girl is a great pop song. <laughs> Shot Boys, I don't even think I like this band, but I like the album cover, and uh, I'll put it in my car and I'll see how it sounds. They called us the pop kids, cause we love the pop hits. New Kurt Cobain collection, also was supposed to be really bad, but again, 12 year old me would have eaten it up, so I figured I'd put it in my bag. Look at Did you see the documentary? I didn't. I also heard that that was bad. Steve Fiss told me it was bad. I think it's a, a Seattle rivalry thing. I will check it out someday. This, I don't know about this album, Shira. My publicist gave it to me. Shira, can you uh, explain this to me? It's her favorite album when she was 16 and she thinks I'd like it. Rilo Kylie. Oh, and I put Twin Peaks in my bag. She's dead. Wrapped in plastic. I have been meaning to watch this series for years. You know, this is, excuse me, a damn fine cup of coffee. I've watched like season one, part of season two, the last episode of season two and the movie. And I've seen the pilot like six times. Good Lord, Laura. Laura Palmer. And it's like this thing where I can't finish the series because now I've started it so many times that it's just really boring to sit through the same episodes again and again. You think I look like Laura? Yes but then I don't know what's going on in the later episodes. B -I -T -T -O -R -Y. Hi, Eddie. Did you come by to pick me up? Uh -huh. So I'm kind of screwed, but uh, I want to finish it before the new series comes out. We're going to need some more coffee. And they filmed a part of it right outside my house. And we were thinking that that's what was going on, but it was all very secretive. And then uh, we, we found out afterwards, we were watching footage from it and the Twin Peaks sign was going up like on a fence that was right outside where I was walking past every day. I was that close to David Lynch, I think. Oh, I also stuck this in my bag. I don't know if I'm gonna get it either, but um, I feel like Morrissey gets a raw deal. Every review I saw of this said that it sucked but they also just quoted uh, an excerpt from it, which was usually like way out there and kind of awesome. And then they said, 
yeah, obviously this sucks. Uh, but every time I actually open it up and look at it, I uh, can't read more than a sentence. So I might get it and uh, just have it sit. I'm not gonna get it. This is going back <laughs> on the shelf. Cool, thank you so much. <laughs> Bye.